my name is Tapiwa Kamuruko. Um, I am a senior program manager for Africa in the UNV Development Division based in Germany. Um, currently in Ethiopia, we are collaborating within the context of the UN Framework of Assistance, the WONDA. We're working with various partners in providing assistance to various development programs that have been defined and agreed with the government of Ethiopia. To start with, I want to say that um, in Ethiopia today we have one of the largest contingent of uh, volunteers, especially national volunteers, who are deployed um, at various levels, particularly at the community level. Um, these are people, very well skilled, competent individuals, um, who are deployed at the service of peace and development um, in the country, and most of them at sub-national level. Uh, there's one point that I need to emphasize here, that um, the people that are deployed in Ethiopia at the current level, they are people who understand the program. They are nationals, they are culturally sensitive, they understand the terrain, development terrain, they understand all aspects of the development planning, and they speak the language, which makes it much better. But at the same time, as UNV, uh, which is uh, the concept of the entire United Nations system, we also ensure that during the assignments, uh, there is emphasis on building the capacity of, uh, of the institutions that they work with and also that they transfer skills to national counterparts or at least to individuals within this hosting institutions that they are working with. Um, I may want to also talk about international volunteers who are in Ethiopia. They come in with specific skills and they come in in the context of transferring skills to national counterparts and also building the capacity of the institutions that, uh, that host them. And this is one of the ways in which the United Nations Volunteers Program helps to build the capacity at national level. Um, broadly speaking, the work that we do is defined within the context of, um, of the National Development Plan. For example, in Ethiopia, the work that we are doing is in the context of the GPD Growth and Transformation Plan and further elaborated through the United Nations system, the UNDAF which is fair that like, goes down to agents coming on with their own country programs, the CPAPs, all this uh, development planning process right up to the community level where eventually we are collaborating in the context of partners programs and projects. We work with various uh, program, uh, various uh, partners. We are working with UNICEF, we are working with UNHCR, we are working with WFP, we are working of course with UNDP probably with the largest number of UN volunteers. Um, these people, as I've said, sometimes are deployed at duty stations that are extremely difficult. They come in as volunteers. At the core of volunteerism is the spirit of solidarity, commitment and dedication. Uh, through this modality we are able to mobilize, to get very skilled people at the service of peace and development. Uh, to the extent that um, the people that we deploy today um, in areas where it could have been very difficult, for example, for government to deploy public servants or civil servants, but as volunteers, you find them at very remote areas, very harsh duty stations, but they are there to serve as motivated by their spirit of volunteerism. As I talk today in Ethiopia, we have uh, more than uh, more than 200 national volunteers, of course the number fluctuates, and which makes it one of the biggest, as I said, program in Africa, especially uh, outside the context of um, uh, post-conflict missions like Congo, where we have many volunteers at the service of, the, um, of, uh, of a mission after a long period of, um, of, of conflict engagement there. So in Ethiopia is one of the programs. We also have other bigger programs like in Kenya with over 192 and then we have Tanzania with you know, 60 volunteers, Uganda and elsewhere. But um, increasingly we are trying to advocate and encourage uh, our partners to consider working with volunteers because it is a very cost effective, so many people know it very cost-effective modality to mobilize skills that are needed at the service of development programs and projects. But at the same time, we also leverage resources through volunteers. They come in, 
they are the same people that would be needed for any profile like uh, like uh, if you want to get somebody with say masters degree so many years of experience you get this in the form of volunteers and so in terms of looking forward we hope that we'll be able to continue uh, advocating for volunteerism not only you and volunteers but other volunteers as well so that they are able to be deployed at the service of development we look forward also to support the government if 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 need be to come up with them volunteer policies, volunteer legislation so that young people, the youth can find avenues to, to, to save their communities, to save their country, to be volunteers. Um, right now as we are talking, the United Nations Volunteers Program has a mandate, a specific mandate to encourage mm -hmm. and support youth volunteering programs. Uh, to this extent, we are trying to see how best we can encourage uh, governments, national governments, to consider having explicit policies, explicit programs that support youth volunteering. And uh, this is one area that I'll be discussing with my uh, government colleagues during this mission as well as with uh, uh, UN uh, agencies that uh, we are currently collaborating with.